Now that we've got access to the default shared prefs, let's see how to write data in and read data back out. To write to shared prefs, there are three steps. Get the shared prefs editor, put a value in using a key string, and then apply the changes. To read from shared prefs, you just need to call a getter for the key you use to write a value. You can also specify a default value to use in case there is nothing saved in shared prefs for the key you pass in. Start by adding a key into map prefs that we'll use to save the color to use for map markers. Now add a method to map prefs to write the marker color into shared prefs. You first get the shared prefs editor, put a string in for the marker color, and then apply the changes. Instead of calling apply, which writes to shared prefs asynchronously, you could use commit, which writes synchronously. Generally speaking, if you're on the app main thread, apply is preferred. Now add a getter for the marker color shared prefs. You just call into shared prefs to get a string using the marker color key, and you use a value of red in case the marker color has not yet been saved which will be the case the first time you try to get the shared pref. Now that we can write into and read from shared prefs, let's use that capability in the app. We're using MVP in the app, so let's open map a contract to add methods to save and get the marker color. Now implement those methods in map presenter using control I, and just pass the calls onto map prefs. Open up map activity and first write the marker color pref in the marker color dialog when the user changes the radio button in rg.setOnCheckedChangeListener. Also in show marker color dialog, use the shared pref getter to pick the currently saved pref when the dialog is opened. Now, you just need to get the saved marker color pref when putting a marker on the map in place marker on map. Build and run the app. Make a drop, which should be red since it's the default marker color. Now open the marker color dialog from the menu and pick a different marker color, which gets saved into shared prefs. Make a new drop and the marker color will be the new color. Any new drops you make will use this new color. Restart the app. We're not persisting the drops yet, so the drops you made no longer exist. But if you open the marker color dialog or make a new drop, you see that the app has saved the marker color preference across app restarts.